Kala and Yao about Shinwell, Shinwell, Gakodash. So that's pre camp, right? For the comes. So I'm standing there, you know, preparing, waiting for the brother. <laughs> and look who's coming and laying down right in our spot, you know. So Lisa came and asked me for some change. I said, I have not. And then one thing to do, they should come and lay them on my spot. Basically, like, you know, with ease, you know? That's the demon, man. We are battling, we are battling spirit out there. We are battling spirit, like, literally. Alright? So you probably be safe out there and stay prayed up, man. Because there's demons. There's demons, man. Alright? That's the demon. Follow up. I don't come by top of that like uh -huh. that. I make sure it's short. <laughs> Alright, Shalom, Shalom Israel. We are the Hebrew Israelite, okay? And once again, we're in the highways and the byways, okay? To chant down Babylon. Alright? And to, you know, exalt, exalt and edify the God. Okay, we'll probably start as usual. We'll turn to the east and we'll give our praise to your home. All right, that will honor us to the, the elders and the apostles of uh, GMS and all the elders and apostles in Israel who teach and rule well. Okay, salutation, peace and salutation to the brothers who are in the law. Okay, preaching this beautiful gospel, you know, continuing to chant down Babylon. All right, and shallow one will have to the brothers and the sisters who are carrying, okay, carrying the cross, okay, and keeping the faith despite, okay, the hardship that we find ourselves in Babylon, ourselves in, in Babylon, okay. As you can see, we got some coons, okay, Christianity, you know what it is, man. This, we don't see them when he, when he was uh, when he was cold. We didn't even see none of them. All right, the sun come on and they're gonna come with a with a with a with a with a culinary, All right, to lie to our people. But like I said to the brother, it's the law, man. And even if they try to come in this truth, unless the most side protesting them to come in this truth, they won't be able to gain this truth. So they they they're, they're in the law. They're in the law. All right, they're in the law. Okay. So now today we're gonna talk about. The demonic realm, man. Okay, because in this truth, we're gonna deal with the demonic realm. Okay, when I first came in this truth, honestly, I know about it. I know about the demonic realm, having my father, you know, doing these type of, you know, involving himself into that dark realm. But I feel like you will be covered, and nothing will happen, which is a lie. Because we're talking about the trust. It's not just hardship. It's actually demonic, and lately. The work where the, the, the place where I work, I actually encounter demonic energy, man, and how it affects your body and how it manifests. Okay? And even right now, I'm, I'm, I'm high of that in a way where like, you know, I, I'm dealing with certain demonic oppression, man. It comes and goes and I have to pray a burn instance. Okay, so obviously the Bible was written for our learning. So we're gonna explore today. You know, the Bible, we're going to find out that prophets as well, you know, men of the Lord, you know, beloved of the Most High Yahweh, went through pain and went through those sort of demonic oppression, man, even Yahweh's side, right before, you know, he gave his life for us, okay? So don't think that just because you're in the truth, you know, the demon ain't going to, and get some point to Yahweh, you thought you, you don't think I was standing there. <laughs> And the Edo my all chucked up. He, I don't even, I don't, I'm gonna say chucked up. I think she was under heavy demonic influence. Came right there and asked me for money. I said, I don't have money. Guess what she did? She laid there right there in that spot. I had to put the camera on and speak. And when I, when I edit it, you will see it. You will see that you're a demon, man. So we battling spirit out there, man. Okay? We are battling spirit. So I expect to go through that demonic attack, especially now that they're coming, you have to understand, Esau deal with enchantment. Now, the Bible says, I believe in, uh, can someone get number 20, 23 and 23? And let's see if it's, if it's a tobacco. 
Yeah, yeah, number 23 and 23, man. I want to see what, what he says, man. Read it out loud, read it out loud. Surely there is no enchantments against Jacob, neither is there any definition against Israel according to the this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel what had God won. That's right. So obviously there's no enchantment against us when we're in the truth. So that means the enchantment of Esau, because you have to believe it. When we come out there, we go actually priest, wizard that comes and do ritual, man. Okay? Or they know what they do ritual. Okay, they know who you are, so they do ritual. So you're gonna go in when you go to work, wherever you go. There's people out there that can see, you know, and identify you, man. So that will try to oppression is not gonna work, but you're gonna feel it. Okay? You will feel it, man. Alright, so let's start with uh James 2 and 2 and 13. Do you have, do you have your Bible? Just let's start with and uh, John, John 2 and 13. Okay, you get uh, James 4 and 7, you get uh, Ephesians 6 and 12, yeah? And let's read that aloud because you can see that as we speak, we battle in demons, man, because these people are nothing but demons, man. Don't you know? Okay, because he be preaching, but there's no, I mean, he's not even preaching, God. We haven't preached people the Bible, okay? He be, he be gibberish in Yeah, 6 and 12, it starts there, but he's going to be the third one. John 2 and 13, what does he say? John chapter 2, verse 13. And the Jews, Passover was at hand. And Jesus was John, at hand. Is it? Okay, come on. Yeah, come on. And, G, and Yahweh Shai huh? went up to Jerusalem. Right. Read that again. What did he say? He said he talked about the same thing. Try the James 4 and 7. Leave that one, leave that one. James 4 and 7. Submit yourself therefore to Yahweh. Right, submit, submit yourself therefore to Yahweh. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Right, resist. So submit yourself to Yahweh, man. So the key to resisting these demonic attacks is to fully submerge yourself and submit yourself to the Most High. How do you submit yourself to the Most High? By keeping the law, man. It's by rehearsing, okay, the righteous act. Okay, but coming out there and preaching the gospel, man. Okay, because when you preach the gospel, you create the Most High put an edge on you. There's an edge on us, right? Around us, like you around us. Okay? Because the devil will come, man, in many forms. And for them, for us, the men of the Lord, the demonic oppression, man, like I said, I'm going through right now. Okay? So the only way for me now to be exempt from those attacks or to be strong against those attacks is to make sure I keep the law to the best of my ability, man. Okay? Now let's go to um, Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against right. powers, and against rulers of darkness of this world. Right. Against so, spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and right. blood. Right. So we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This truth is a very spiritual one, man. Okay? You, can, you don't come in the truth to wear the best garments with fringes on, okay? Or to make money with the name of Yahweh, or to be a star and a, a non figure. <coughs> no. You are entering a battleground, man. Okay? Because this truth is the, it's the one that will get rid of this kingdom. This truth is the one that will empower. Okay, the 104 k as well as the one third. Okay, so we can get the kingdom. So it's a very powerful thing, man. Okay, so read that again. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? But against principalities. Against so it's against principalities, man. Okay, there's this guy, um, this group, this rap group, uh, trapped in corner. Conan had an interview and was saying about how they were in the studio and his old manager called him and he said, yo, when are you going to you know, sign the, the contract and that? And while he was speaking, he voice suddenly changed into like a dream, like a demon, a demon man. He said, sign the contract, sign, basically some demonic voice to the point where he had to throw the phone and for three minutes he was like, he was so shook. 
he was like, what's going on? And he was asking Trump, like, did you, did you hear that? He said, yeah, what's that? So when he called the guy, he said, no, you called us with some demon thing. What's going on? He like, said, me? I never called you with some demon thing. All right? And that, 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 that started the contract. And I believe that's when the, the cousin of Trump, for, no, for those who know, Kadeh, died, man. See, things are linked, man. We did, it's a demonic realm that we are in. Just because, you know, you, 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 do, you haven't been through it, or you haven't seen, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So best believe that's the Bible speaking, man. When you walk around, you walk around, you got demons. God only has his own demon, man. They call territorial demons. And you coming now to preach the gospel and tell people it's not, it's not that gospel that you're listening to. But that's weak as hell, man. The, 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 the devil are laughing, the demons are laughing. That's the real thing because you are bringing that, that ancient vibe, that ancient energy. The energy of David, the energy of Yahweh Shai, man. The energy of Solomon. So if you're gonna come here and do the work, <laughs> you, you, you best know what you've got, you got yourself into, man. It's not a joke, carry on. Against powers, against rulers, and right? Planets. Against powers and rulers, and the government that watch you, Satan, man. This government that watch you, Satan, man. Okay, they are operating on the dark, the dark, on the dark side of things, and they don't want passing laws and passing things to keep you to sleep, man. Starting with your children. When they're watching TV, what do you think they're watching? They're being initiated to be evil. That's why you got young brothers and young sisters, you know, manifesting that evil, those evil deeds. Because they're being brainwashed from when they're babies, man. Okay? As we speak right now, you got you got you, you got a battle that's going on. We got people speaking with mind over us, talking nonsense. That's the spiritual battle, man. Okay? So we gotta come here prepared, carry on. Of this world against spiritual wickedness in right. high places. Right, against spiritual wickedness in high places, carry on. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. Right, so take on the whole armor of Yahweh, man. Okay? This is like when you see the Chinese people. They go somewhere, they, 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 when they, they want to be showered and they want to do the kung fu on there, they, they, they'll be taken from when they're young to a place and they learn how to be a master. They learn how to master the craft. So us now, we have to learn how to master our craft, man. And what is our craft? Okay, the, the rehearsing of the commandment. So that's the reason why we fell out. We fell away in the first place. So now we're coming back to get that. So we have to be serious okay when it comes to that man we can't be like christian people who go to church and then when they go out they do the same thing they eat the pork they do their thing they, they live the double life we gotta learn to be real man okay so we have to wherefore take onto the whole armor of yahweh carry on that he may be able to withstand in the evil day. that he may be able able to withstand the evil day, there's a brother of GMS as well that had a, a vision lately about Jacob trouble, man. Okay? Well, I get, um, Trump, get, get Jeremiah 30 and 7, man. But Jacob trouble is something that people need to be prepared against, man. Jacob trouble is coming, man. Now let's read that and let's see what the Bible says about Jacob trouble. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Read that. Alas. For that day is great. Right. So that none is like it. Right. So that none is like it. So that means slavery has nothing, will have nothing on, on Jacob travel. Now you know how hard slavery was? Slavery was tough, you know. The slave trade was tough. But the Bible says, what's coming? Alright? The slavery time or what they went through, people went through and job had nothing on it. Carry on. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It is even the time of Jacob. I mean, they're coming for the children of Israel, man. They are coming for us the real way. Okay? Now, get, get quickly. Second Ezra, right? Stay on that, stay on that, get that. Second Ezra, all right, 16. And start at the, uh, I will see it, I will be able to carry on my life. But he shall be saved out of it. Uh, let's go at 17, let's go 17. And he shall be walked, saved out of it. But then we're gonna read, we're gonna find out who's gonna be saved out of it before they even carry on the lesson. We're gonna let Spirit follow us, man. Right, so 
Read 17 and 71, 71, 17 and 71. For there shall be in every place right. in the next cities right. a great insurrection. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Those that fear the Lord, man. So the, they're going to come against us, man. So you got to understand, the people, the power that be, know who we are, who we are and they know the work that we're doing. And they're going to come against us. Nothing new under the sun. They did that under Nero. That Nero, when, yeah, under Emperor Nero, and when Rome got what was on fire, they, 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 they accused the Christian. Now, if you read the Bible, you know that the Christian were the Jews, which is us. All right, so they're coming for us. Why? Because we 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 we, we, we going against the grain, man. Okay, seventy one. They shall be like madmen, spirit not. Right, they shall be like madmen, spirit. They're talking about who? Esau. All right, Esau, the government. Okay, carry on. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear right. the Lord. Right, so they're gonna come against us and destroy, try to destroy us. So you're gonna need the protection of the Mosai in that time, man. You're gonna need the protection of Yahweh in that time. Okay, now let's go to uh, Daniel 12 and 1. And you go to uh, uh, Ezekiel 9, 4 and 6. Read 72 quickly and then let's go to uh, For they shall waste and take away their goods. Right, so they're gonna try and rob us. Okay, a lot of these, a lot of these Israelites, a lot of these Negroes that you see in the street will be, won't be put to death, man. And the dream that the brother had, it was a very terrifying dream, man. They went into the house, they're gonna rip your, they're gonna rip your daughter in front of you, they're gonna rip your wife in front of you, man. So you're trying to, you're trying to have some right now. They're gonna throw, they're gonna throw your, 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 your babies, dash your babies against the wall, man. You know, my brother, the first distraction. To bring it to no, no, no. The first distraction, yeah, is women. I'm letting you know that now. That's if you wanna, if you wanna have some sort of enlightenment. I wanna get, it. I wanna give you the game. The first thing is, you know, discipline yourself against the woman, man. They're not gonna take you way far. Have you done? Are you done? And cast them out of their houses. Right. And cast them out of what? Their houses. Of the houses, man. Okay. So they're gonna come against us, man. Okay, and also you gotta understand, before we do that, there's agent among us. I want people to understand that, man. There's, a, there's agent among us. When Yahawashai had his size in ministry, Judah was with him, man. And Judah was, 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 he was in the war, the treasury or something like that, right? Judah was a treasury, right? He was taking care of the money or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I thought, I thought. Right, but he was. Judah is carrying. Yeah, he's the one who carried, who carried the money. Right, he was the one who carried the money, man. Okay? Oh. But Yahushai knew that he was a, he was a snake. Yahushai knew that. But he was to fulfill, you see? There's brothers that are in the truth, but they are agents. So basically, they're around, they're in the camps, or they come around, but they're sent by the government to check what brothers are doing. Are we talking about guns? Are we talking about you know, like, you know, insurrection. I was talking about taking down the government with arms and that. And then pass, then go and, and, and give information back to the government of the government. Do you understand what I'm saying? But there's nothing you can do about it because they were ordained to be like that. Just like Judah Iscariot were ordained. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we're dealing with a lot of things, man. Don't get it twisted. That's why they want to they, 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 they know your yard and they will, they will point they will point to the to the enemy. They'll say, yo, this is where he lives, man. Hey, we have got agents among us. Have you done with that? Um, then shall it be known who are my chosen. Then shall it be known who are my chosen, man. And they shall be tried as gold and fire. Right. So we're gonna and that's how the most high. That's why when you go through your pain and that, you shouldn't complain that much because that's how you're being tried, man. Gold, to, to gold is tried by fire, man. Okay? Gold is tried by fire. So, all of these elements are necessary. And let me tell you something, some of the brothers who have, some of the brothers who have spiritual power, man. No, but he, 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 you know, Alright? 
some other brand will have spiritual power, right? So we're not scared of the agents or what they can do or what the, what the government can do. Because we were, we were called by the most high, right? We're not doing it just to, to come in and talk, no. We're doing it because we are predestined to do that. All right? Now, you want to read some more? Carry on. Ephesians 6 and 13. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me finish that, that, that piece. So go read Daniel 12, because in Jeremiah 30 and 7, it spoke of, you know, or it speaks of, he says that we, the, 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 um, Israel shall be saved out of Ebon. Daniel 12 and 1 proved to us or show us that it's not all Israel that will be saved out of it, man. Okay? It's not all Israel that will be saved out of it. Read it. It's a Daniel 12 and 1. And that time, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince who is standing for the children of, the, of thy people. Right. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since right. there was so a nation. Can, so that's a precept for Jeremiah 13 and 7. Oh, my, my yeah, Archangel Michael, he's the general of war, man. He will come with the, the angel. And that's why I say that we, we, should, we have to stay in this truth, man. Don't wait until we get real for say, oh, I wish I wasn't the truth. It be too late. Okay? After that, we're going to have to read um, Ezekiel 9 and then you're going to get back to that, right? Because that's how it's going to be. Now, Daniel 12, man. Daniel 12. Daniel 12 and 1, yeah. So read that again from the top, and we're going to move on to Ezekiel 9, 4 and 6. This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, right. and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since right. there was a nation. So like I said earlier, slavery had nothing on what's coming, man. And they're going to fully come on you. You Hebrew Israel, I think it is a joke. Like laughing and mocking and it's like everything is a joke to you, Lord. But you're not there, you're going to understand that, you know, that there's a time and place for everything, man. This truth is not to be laughed at, man. You, can, you can't laugh. No, no, he's reading that. He's equal 9, 4, and 6. Okay. Laugh me and try later, man. Yeah, read it. Such as never was since there was a nation, right? Even to that same time, right? And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. It's not everyone that's written in the book, man. It's not. Yes, yeah, book of life. The 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 the, the 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 elect are written in the book of life, man. Okay. The elect are written in the book of life. These are, these are the ones that will be saved. Yahweh Ratazah. We pray that we power of thy election, man. We pray that we power of thy election. Okay? Now, read Ezekiel 9, 4 and 6. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Right. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Right. And set a mark upon their forehead. Right. Of the man that sighed. Right. Set a mark upon the forehead of the man that sighed. And that cried. And the man that sighed and that cried, meaning the man that, that are not happy with how the system goes on. The men that separate themselves, which are the, 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 the holy elect, the hopeful elect, those who go out there in the highways and the byways to preach that, to preach that gospel, those who you see wearing garment, the, the one that you want that you laugh at. Okay? The one that look like comedian to you. This one, yes, my brother. This one. The one that keeping the law, rehearsing the righteous act. This one. Carry on. And that cries for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, because obviously we don't like what's going on right now. Man. We want this kingdom to be done away with, man. Okay, because this kingdom represents abomination. This kingdom go against the laws of the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. So we hate this kingdom, man. Okay, and everything that comes with it. Read it. Okay, verse five. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him to the city. Right. And smite. Right. So the Mosa is coming with the church then. That will be carried out by the angels. Okay? It will be death, destruction, man. Killings and mass. And that's coming, man. But obviously, they don't believe. They don't believe until they see it. They see the wars going on between Russia and Ukraine. And they think the war will never come to England, man. Okay. Let's pray for Ukraine as well. Oh yeah, let's pray for Ukraine. 
<laughs> but I never prayed for Libya when uh, uh, the American went there. Okay, carry on. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Right, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So the most I won't have no pity for you agent out there thinking that you're doing yourself a great favor. No, you're foolish. Okay, but honestly you can't fight your destiny. You were born to be an agent. You were ordained for destruction, man. So good work. Okay, carry on. Yeah. Verse six. Slay utterly old and young. Right. Both maids and little children. And in that dream, that, that vision that the brother had, a lot of a lot of these children got, got put to death, man. A lot of these a lot, a lot of these Israelite children, they got put to death, man. There was no mercy that day, man. And the day is coming. The day is coming, man. Okay? The day is coming. Carry on. And women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. All right. They come not near any man upon whom, upon, upon whom, upon whom, upon whom right. is the mark. Upon whom is the mark, man. The mark of exemption. All right? So the man of the Lord will be protected, man. No, 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 no. That's a spiritual thing for one. How can it be the mark? Don't no worry. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual mark, man. Yes, exemption. And begin at my sanctuary. Right, begin at my sanctuary. So it will start in the truth. A lot of you brothers die in the truth and playing around. You're gonna be put to death, man. The most are gonna kill you. I mean, literally. Okay, so you better repent and ask for mercy. Okay, hello, mommy. How are you doing? You're right. Good. Carry on. Then they began. Right. At the ancient men. Right. The ancient. That's the older, the elder people. Because they don't, they don't do nothing. They're all in the bookies. What? Are they? They're not guiding us, man. The ancient. They're not guiding us. Guiding us to hell. The guiding us to hell. What? Are you see them bookies sitting now? Trying to guess, I don't know what they, what they, what they, what they're looking for, man. Okay, they left us. Okay, from when we're young, they want to do their own thing, having children here and there. They're not taking care, of, so they're, they're losers, man. How 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 elders? So the most are gonna get rid of them first. Okay, just like he got rid of the old generation that made it our Egypt. All right. I repeat. Now, I repeat. Yeah, carry on. Man. Then they, then they began at the ancient men, right, which were before the house. Right, which were before the house, man. Okay. Now let's get back to, you know, what we're Ephesians doing. Ephesians six and thirteen. Okay. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. Right. That he may be able to withstand in the evil day. Right. And having done all to stand. Right. So you have to you have to be spiritual. You have to get into that spiritual realm for you to be able to withstand the time that are coming. But those are not jokes. This is serious, man. Okay? This is and you got Jake is so stubborn. Sometimes they're in the truth and they're stubborn and doing their own thing. You don't see. You don't want to be humble, you're gonna be humble, man. They got Jake in the in the world trying to be, you know, evil and demons. They love it like that. You know? Proud as hell. You can't tell them nothing. They think they know everything. Well, in that day we will see. Okay? But for those of us who are trying to keep the law, we're going to keep the law, man. Yeah, bring it, bring it. Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Right. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Right. To render his anger with fury. Right. And his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead right. with all flesh. That's right. So you will plead with all flesh by his fire and by his sword. That's the judgment, man. Okay? And one power they have started in Ukraine. What's happening in Ukraine, obviously, is a big signs of what's coming, you know, in the near future, man. 
Okay. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. Okay, funny enough, this pastor talk about Jesus, Jesus. But not talk about what Jesus coming to do. <laughs> okay? Alright, so let's get back to um, uh, Ephesians 6 and let's carry on. That's a very important verse as far or precept as far as you know keeping it spiritual man like jake like to say i'm keeping it real <laughs> you're gonna learn to keep you're gonna learn to keep it spiritual you know yeah carry on 14. stand you know? therefore having your loins good about right truth. your loins going you know when you wear and funny enough how how children are manifesting that then the, the, the truth is not on them because why they how they're wearing the, 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 the trousers the pants sagging man all right there's no belt the belt is the one that's supposed to hold it so it doesn't go down because when you go down you show your nakedness so bed sagging is actually showing how low we have gotten man and how naked we are as far as the children of Israel especially the men okay obviously if the men are naked hey the right, women will be naked as well at the time of David right when they went to the Chinese them Moabites right so and David greeting to them about the father being dead. Right. The Chinese man cut the beard off. Right. And then right. stripped them to the buttocks. But there was a shame to go That's to David. Right. That's right. That's so. right. That's right. So basically, he was saying about, I say, you know, being of God that is a shame. And he was giving an account of how, you know, some guys went, Israelite guys went to a. Uh, and they went back to David until the beard was grown back and they put, fixed the pants up. Right. You know? Right, right. So it was so, a shame for our people to walk on with their ass joint. Right. And with no beard on the face. Do you understand? Yeah. The barber should have getting on to me yesterday. Same one. Well, the main barber was like, oh, he looked like, like, look rough. Looking like a bad man. I'm like, bro, my lines, you know, man. I'm sure the music is like that. No, because they're, they're feminine. It's the feminine. You know, a lot of these Jake out here, they're feminine, man. I thought it was the sign of a man. Yeah. The sign of being a man. Yeah, they don't understand manhood. They think manhood is, you know, going out, killing, and, and being strong, and fucking someone else. But if not, that's, that's men who are making money. They don't understand the way, you know. They don't understand the ancient way. Because they, they, they destroy. That's why the Bible says, Micah 2 and 10, this place will destroy you. This place is not a place of your, of your rest. This is why they like the face clean as well. When they came off the slave ship, slave master shave off the beard and call them boy. Right, boy. So they like being called boy to That's this right. day. That's why they had a face smooth. They had no respect. Right. That's right. That's right. That's fine. It's all good. <laughs> hey, listen, you're fighting for your salvation. And why are you fighting for your salvation? Demonic spirit will jump on your friend, on your family, on brothers in the truth to try to take you away. Yeah. Pray that they don't pray against the spirit. Because it's like when you see your mom, for example, doing something to you, it's not your mom. It's the spirit that jump on her to do that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, carry on my life. Of righteousness. Right, so I was talking about it. You gotta have the truth, man. The loins is the truth. Okay, the belt is the truth. Having the truth, man. Having the understanding of the wisdom that was given to you, man. Okay, will make you a man. Alright? Will make you strong and firm. Because when you don't have the truth, that's where you're falling now. When you don't have the truth, that's when somebody can come and beguile you so you can become a spy or an agent. If you have the truth, you will refuse all of that. Okay, just like Yahweh shall refuse. Okay, when 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 Yahweh when 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 um, when Satan came to him trying to beguile him, he was weak. He was in need at that point. But well, he said no. Okay, so we should say no in in the face of of, of, of temptation and adversity. Carry on. And your feet shed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Right. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be. And in be verse 13, read that again, read that again. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Right, no, no, therefore, that one, that one, verse, uh, uh, the peace, about uh, that one, verse 15. Malon. And your feet. I think, bro. Right. Good, yeah. Yeah, sit, sit, come and stand there, come and stand there. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 sit there, sit there. 
Huh? And your feet shall with the preparation of the gospel right. of peace. Right. And that's that's he talks about when you're in this truth, you gotta come, okay, and, and preach the and preach the gospel, man. Because the gospel, alright, is the key to our liberation, man. As an as, 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 as a nation. What we haven't got is the real okay dispensation of the gospel. Because you have to understand these churches, all they're preaching you is what the slave master gave them, man. The version of evangelism that you listen to in the churches is the version that the, 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 the slave master gave to you. Okay? That's what I'm saying, man. How people are destroyed. That's why the Bible says he will start by the ancient. Because they have nothing to give it. This guy was supposed to be giving him the, the knowledge, but he doesn't even know he has the knowledge. Okay? So it's very important for us to come and preach it, man. Don't be, don't be ashamed. The Bible is our book. Right. They took from us in slavery. That's right. They took it and they repackaged it and they call it all that. They send the pastors, okay, to preach it. They gave the Bible. And all it so does. the majority of the book. Right. And all it does. Cool, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all it does is to make you the sound. Okay? It's to make you willing to work with, with, with the Satan, man. Willing to work for this, for, for this kingdom. Okay? To teach you how to be evil and fake and be a snake. So this is what these pastors do, they come and preach to you. But next thing, they're doing some of the darkest shit you can ever, you can ever encounter, man. They are also a minus. But they will come on Sunday, retain, you know, appearance of, of righteous. But they're not righteous. Okay, so it's important that we stay real, man. So once you have the truth, you have to come out. It's an obligation to come and preach the gospel of peace. Carry on. And that helps you as well against demonic oppression. Yeah, we're going all the way. Above yeah. all, taking the shield of faith. Right, Where the shield we're... of faith, man. Having faith, having that assurance. Okay, read Hebrew 11, 11. Back to basic. Hebrew 11 and 1. Whoever has it can read it. Hebrew 11, 1. Back to basic. What is faith? Okay. Hebrew 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Bring it out. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. So Abraham had an evidence of things not seen in this situation was Isaac coming to life. Although his wife was barren, but he had faith. He had that evidence, although he never seen it. So in this truth, we have the evidence of what we preach although it's not manifested yet. We have the evidence of the coming kingdom, although we can't see no kingdom right now. That's faith. We are assured about what we're preaching. We trust in what we're preaching. Okay? Read verse 6 and let's, and let's, let's get back to edition 6. Verse 6. Hebrews 11 and 6. Right. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Right. Without faith, it's impossible to preach. To please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So if you're a man of the Lord and you don't have faith, right, that's that's a, that's a, that's that's an issue. And the reason why you're going through pain is because pain gives you faith because you have you go through pain, but you know or you expect the Mosai to show you mercy. You expect the Mosai to take you out of your situation, man. That's faith. So a man of the Lord is supposed to have faith. When you're in this truth, he's supposed to exercise faith. Okay, you can tell me you have faith when everything goes well for you. It's when you find yourself into between the the the, 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 the rock and the hard place, that's when you have to exercise faith. Okay? When you're down, when you got your back against the wall, that's when you exercise faith. When people don't listen to you while you're preaching, that's when you exercise faith. When people are mocking you while you're preaching, wearing your garment, that's when you exercise faith. Okay? Carry on. Well, wait, you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right, the fiery dart, the demonic attack, man. We got this guy working right there. He's under demonic attack, man. Demon and took two presidents over his life. That's what it is, man. So in order for you to, to be able to chase this demon, resist the devil, you gotta be practicing this thing, man. You gotta be taking it for a joke. This is not just like a fashion like where hip hop was in fashion that everybody wanted to be a rapper. No, this is something that we're supposed to do. We're a nation of kings and priests, man. Okay? Carry on. The 
helmet of salvation. Right. And the sword and of take, the spirit. And take the helmet of what? Salvation. And take the helmet of salvation, man. The helmet of salvation. We in this to be saved, man. The most I promised us salvation. We don't care what people say, man. You see, this truth has to create some in some way a kind of vision man, in your life. Because if you worry about what the brother think of you, how the brother look at you, you know, if you're ashamed to be to be yourself, man, you're a loser. Yeah, you're gonna lose. So now you're a loser in this society. Are you gonna be a loser in the kingdom to come? Like they say, God forbid. I want <laughs> I want to be a winner in this in the kingdom to come. Yes, I, I may be a loser here. Okay, I, 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 will admit, I, I will admit that, you know, I'm a loser. I, maybe like, you know, if you take the standard of this worldly way, way, you know, I'm a loser. Well, okay, but I want to be a winner in the world to come. And there, there is a world to come. Okay, because Jake is too simple. Jake think, Jake think that this kingdom will abide forever. No, this kingdom will abide forever. In fact, this kingdom is on its knees, man. Okay? This kingdom is on the knees. Have you, have you seen how Joe Biden is, is out of his mind these days? Man can even think straight. That's, that's an example. Exactly. He's turning around and shaking spirits. The guy is out of his marbles, man. Why? The most is showing us that the head is sick. Therefore, and Babylon, isn't it Babylon the head of this world? Right, Supposedly, I'm a weak leader. I mean, kingdoms coming to and no country is going to have respect for it. Hey, but there was a, there was a sketch of the Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabian. <laughs> they couldn't do that again. Well, they, 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 they were mocking. They were mocking By, Biden, man. And, and, and there was a sketch of the Saudi Arabian mocking, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala. Right. Because they're weak. Every time you say something, you call it. Yeah. Man can't even think straight. That's the most high. They hey. have never done that against Trump. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Do not play with the most high. Do not play with the most high. Carry on. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Right. And the sword of the spirit. So you got to know your word, man. You got to have your word. You got you to gotta read your Bible daily if you can, man. Obviously, in the Bible, sometimes it's hard. But you got to spend time with the word, man. You gotta preach this gospel. I mean, you gotta you gotta leave this gospel. You gotta read. The Bible says, "Blessed is he that readeth." So we gotta read and understand what we're reading, man. Because this is so. This is not something that it just it just not it's not like a book you're reading. This is life. This is spirit, man. Okay. Carry on. All right, so we gotta pray, man. You gotta pray three times a day at least, man. You know, you gotta pray constantly, man. You gotta pray, you gotta invoke the Spirit, man. You gotta invoke the Holy Spirit. You gotta invoke it, man. Okay, because your prayer represents like incense in the, in the spiritual realm, in the Shemayim. So the more you pray, the more you go, and the most I like smelling them incense, like, who doesn't like smelling good perfume? Pleasant fragrance, Fra fragrance. Your prayers are pleasant fragrance. Go see to the pleasant fra uh, fragrance, the fragrance, you know, to, to the most high hour about you your child. So we better keep on praying, man. Okay? And when you pray, you get your you get your you know a lot of things answered in your life. Okay? And we sin every day, so we gotta pray for repentance and pray for mercy, man. We ain't gonna be able to make it with keeping the law, you know. You gotta, we, we gonna be able, it's by the grace, it's by grace, it's mercy, okay? It's mercy, man. So we gotta pray every day against this demonic, because the demons are everywhere. They're in your family, they're in your workplace, they're in the camp, they're in the groups, they're everywhere. Everybody in the truth is your demons, man. Okay? It's oppressing us, man. Carry on. Prayer and supplication in the right. spirit. And watching thereunto with all preparations right. and supplication for all sins. Right. Now, can someone get Romans 15? Okay. And, and, and uh, is it 5 4? Let's start 4. Uh, Romans 4. Oh, you got a precept, bring it out. So, the key is just to 
Kiesiaster, yes, because 35 and 16. He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favour, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. Right, the break that down. Verse 17 to right. The prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds. Right. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted right. and will not depart till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. So yeah, when you're meek, when you're humble, the prayer's gonna pierce the clouds because um there's a thing where and sometimes the prayer is not always gonna come to you. Like for example, when you was a child and you asked your dad for certain things, you asked your mom for certain things, you have to earn it. So you might you might not get that certain thing until like a year later, until you earn it. And just like our prayers, we might not our, our prayers might not get answered until a year later or two years later. But just know that it pierced the clouds, it reached the clouds. So we have to have that mindset too. Right. So prayer is very important. When you're going through pain, you know. Listen, I don't actually live on earth. All right. We don't go through pain, we don't go through a life of hardship. Us as Hebrew Israelites, you know, the black people, the Hebrew Israelites, we being the children of the Most High and having, you know, gone against, okay, the, 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 the law of the Most High, Yahweh, we will go through pain. But you can reconnect with your power, you know. Out of all the nation, you are more blessed. It's easy for you to be miraculously healed from whatever you go through, man. Yeah. You can miraculously be healed from ailment, from sickness, okay, from situation if you really connect back to your power, man. Other nation cannot do that. We can do that because we are the children of the Messiah, man. Forget what you heard about all the, 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 the Jews, you know, and those one. No, the, the real Jews is those that you see right there. Those who went into slavery. The real Jews are the ones that you see in the ghetto, man. They're in the ghettos and they went to slavery and colonialism for a reason because they went against the power, man. Okay, so all that demonic oppression that we're going through because we went against the Father and we're paying for something. But if you reconnect with your power, miraculously He can intervene in your life, man. Word. Okay? He can intervene in your life when you start rehearsing the righteous act, man. Okay? He will open your mind to realities. He will he will he will, he will heal your heart. It can get rid of certain situations. Now, if you pray like the brother said and something don't happen, that's because it's not time yet. Because there's a time and place for everything. But that's when you exercise faith. Okay? Though you don't see it, you still have the evidence of it in your heart because you're assured that the Mosai, Yahweh, will heal you when the time comes. All right? So now, can someone read uh, uh, 15 and, and 4? Romans 15 and 4. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. But what sort of the things were written after what? Verse 4. But what sort of the things were written before time For our learning. Read it from the top, read it from the top. Okay, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime right. were written for our learning. So what was reading? What was reading? The Bible. Okay. That that we through patience and com and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right. So this book were written for our learning. So that means every time we want to know about something, we want to know about this world, we want to know about what's going on, we want to know about prophecy, we have to get back in the Bible. Why? Because the Bible is our book. Forget what this society told you. The Bible is the book of the black and Hispanic who are the real Israelites. This is our heritage, man. You know how you, you, you watch a movie and they're looking for a coach, you know, and they want to open some secret doors to get some knowledge, you know, and then fight to get that, 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 that keys, you know, to, to get a code, you know, that which is a code, and then open that door. Yes, the Bible is our code, man. The Bible is the key that unlocks that door, okay, 
to our freedom and our liberation, man. Word. Man, what happened is that the pastors, they used their wrong because they were told by the same people who brought us into captivity. How do you want the enemy to show you light? Of course the enemy gonna show you darkness because if you got light, you're gonna take over. The enemy wants you captive forever, man. So now he's bringing now the, the prophets in the street, but in a form, you know, like where people will like not take it seriously. That's how the Mosai works. Don't ask me why. He could have brought us, you know, all suit up and that, like, black, like, 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 like the men in black, all flashy and that. But he decided not to do that. He decided to bring the word simply so that the people who are sincere, because we came here like the men in black, the people who come here for our appearance and what we can bring them, and the fact that we're flashy, just like the rap world. But he made us lowly so that only the sincere people will catch the vibe. Okay? So this book is our heritage now. Now, speaking of demonic oppression, we're gonna go into the book. And you're gonna understand that the precious people of the Mosai were, you know, had to go through a lot of things, but they kept it strong and they kept it real, man. Okay? This book gives you a source of power, man. Alright, so let's go to Job. Let's go to Job uh, 33. Let me verify it. Job 33. So my brother, you good? You like, you like what you're hearing? Good, man. Job 33. And uh, let me see, 15. Yes, read that. <coughs> Job chapter 33, verse 15. Right. In a dream, in a vision right. of the night, right. when deep sleep falleth upon men, right. and slumberings upon the bed. Right. Yeah, carry on. Verse 16. Then he opened up the ears of men, right. and sealed their instruction. Right. Verse 17. Before we read that, get, get first Timothy 4 and 1. Before we read that first, what is first Timothy 4 and 4 and 1 that it says? Go oh, hold that, yeah? What does it say? Well, it's a lot of time, some kind of part. Preach and doctrine. That's right, that's right. It's a first Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaks expressly right. that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Right, some shall depart from the faith, man. So we see a lot of that today. Why? Because of those demonic oppression, man. The demon can come, and that's what we're gonna read the job for you to understand. The demon can jump on you and give you a complete, you know, different doctrine. You're gonna come today and say that, oh, you know, the white man is God. God loves everybody. <laughs> God loves everybody. That's what happened to these Christians. It's demon that died the guide the steps, man. This is, this is a spiritual warfare we're in. This is a spiritual world we're in, man. The manifestation is physical, but it's firstly spiritual. Okay, carry on. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed to seducing spirit, man. There are spirit among us, man. There's people that you see like that, and they got demon in them. There's women that will come to you. There are demons. There are Jezebels. There's men that will come to you. There are demons. You see them like they might be the prettiest thing, but they got demons in them that work with demons, man. Okay? Carry on. And doctrines of devil. And doctrines of devil, that's what we see in the truth. That's what we see everywhere. Doctrines of devils. These pastors are preaching nothing but doctrine of devils, man. Even the government. Okay? To seduce the people, to sway them away from the truth, man. The truth is not popular. The truth is hated. Okay? Carry on. That it? Yeah, go on first All right. Go on first to the Huh? First what did you say? So speak and lies in hypocrisy. Yeah, read that, read that, read that. Speak and lies in hypocrisy. Right, speak and lies in hypocrisy, man. Hypocrites. And this truth, people saying they're about it, but in real life they're not about it, man. Okay? The most I require 
try real people. It's okay to struggle. It's okay to struggle with sins. Okay? We're not perfect, but you gotta be sincere in your heart and want it to change things, man. You can't be willingly be a demon in this truth. You can't be willingly an agent in this truth. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's completely out of order, man. And the most I will judge you for that. Is that it? Having their conscience, having their conscience seared will be a hot iron. Right, that caution see will hot iron. Meaning like whatever you're gonna tell them, they're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But deep inside them, they're gonna do what they do, man. Deep inside them, they're gonna be wicked anyway. Okay? Why? Because they are controlled, they let a demon take precedence, you know, in their life, man. They let certain things happen. That's why you have to be careful what religion you're into because you're inviting entities in your life, man. All religion is madness. Yeah, that's why I say you have to be careful because at the end of the day, you're inviting those demons. Now, but it's going to be hard to take them. If you're not careful, these demons are going to take you away, going to take you away from the truth and they're going to wake up and do something else. And that's what you're going to read. So, and read that job 33 and 50, you're going to understand how the words are. What? So you, you need mercy, man. So you read it again. Okay, I read again. <clears throat> Job chapter 33, verse 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, right. and slumberings upon the bed. Right, so when you're sleeping, you go to sleep, carry on. Verse 16. Then he openeth the ears of men, right. and sealeth their instruction. Right, so the most high sealeth the instruction. So you're going to wake up in the morning and you're bugged out, man. You wake up in the morning and you're an agent. You wake up in the morning and then you believe that the word that God of, what did you say, that what? You say something earlier when I say, uh, you can wake up and the first doctor say that the white man is God. Don't worry, don't worry. You don't believe what, you know, when you don't wake up thinking about something that is absolutely live, man. Okay? Carry on, my lad. Verse 17, that he may withdraw man from his purpose. Right, so everyone has his purpose on earth, man. Pray that you are on the right side of things. Pray that the most I uses you, man. Because so there's only two things. Either he uses you for righteousness or he uses you for darkness. And if he uses it for darkness, oh boy, you're done out here, man. Like that thing, you're done out here. Okay? To finish off, I'm high pride from man. Right. That's it. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's now, you know, let's talk about, you know, uh, Second Samuel 11. Can someone get Second Samuel 11? Not really from uh, 2 to 15, man. Right? And it came to pass. In an evening time, that David arose from an office bed and right. walked upon the roof right. of the king's house. Right. And from the roof he saw a woman right. washing herself. Right. And the woman was very beautiful right. to look upon. Right. Carry on. David sent and inquired after the woman. And one said, It's not this Bathsheba? Right. His daughter. Right. So uh, he, this was this is what's happening, man. The wife of Uriah the Hittite. And David said and inquired after the woman. And one said, "It's not this person." Hey, woman. So the king that gave him, man. He was there. He saw a girl, and he, he, he couldn't resist. Come closer, come closer. You come closer. So everything that, you say is for edification. Yeah, but I'm saying that they say they do say that women should wear modest apparel clothing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like if 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 a woman's gonna be out there wearing short things, you're gonna automatically yeah. come yeah, and walk through the eyes. Yeah. It says that in Matthew yeah. 5 and 28. You know no, what but I'm actually, actually. Actually, um, if you see a woman looking and lusting, yeah. yeah. If you, no, you but see but a woman, but, but if, if you see a girl from the corner of your eyes, yeah. Yeah. you back, must turn and you look, way you that's see. lust within itself. It doesn't matter on the level of the heart. Lust is, the heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't matter on what level the lust is. It could be two percent, could be twenty. 
It's let, 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 let me talk, let me talk. You know what I'm saying? It's still lust. If you look at it like, oh, gosh, she's got a back end. That's lust, but that could be someone's wife. You don't know. You don't know that. Yeah, right, That's bro. why the most time I wanted us to wear, you know, modest apparel. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, not as <laughs> the woman then. Yeah. Then that's a force. That's why I mean, like that telly, no? Yes. Yeah. That's why the most time. You make it a very good point, but that's why I'm talking about the yeah. money. You gotta understand what you're saying is perfectly true. I'm not going against that. Yeah, it's reality. But then you have to understand as well, from a deeper level, you as a warrior. Yeah, it's to be tax. It's to be tactful. How do you say? Tactics. Strategic. You gotta be strategic. Yes. 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 These women, they're pushing it hard, man. And let me tell you something. They'll be ripped when they come down. They'll be ripped, man. A lot of them will be ripped. You see what I'm saying? But you, as a man of the Lord, if you are a man of the Lord, you gotta be a strategic man. You gotta understand. The enemy is out there. The Bible says, roughly paraphrasing, that the, the devil is like a, a, a lion that is a running lion that is looking for who who, who we may devour. Yeah, yeah. So the devil, well, I, actually, the first thing that the devil uses a lot is what? Right. So let's read it so we can understand how. Yes. Obviously, the most I did that for a reason for us to learn and know how to move. Because David was a great man, David feared the Lord. But the sin, the most has sent a demon toward him for you know the, 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 the purpose of his gospel, you know, for us to learn. Okay? To read it. David sent and inquired after the woman. Right. And one said it's not this Bathsheba, yeah. the daughter of Elam, the right. wife of Uriah with the Hittite. So she was married, man. Yeah. So it's okay to see a woman and inquire. Look, this how you gonna love a woman if you don't? You have to love a bar, bro. Even you love the way she walk. Like that's before studying her. Yeah. When you see her, you look and say, boy, I like, I like what I see. Yeah. And then you go and inquire. First thing you say, yeah, what's up, man? Are you good? How's your day going? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. are you married? Yeah. You, have, you have someone? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you have to inquire to know if she married or not. That's the first thing. So that's what happened. He inquired. So if a woman now tells you I'm married, what do you do? Hey, in the world, I'm not gonna lie to you, I commit adultery in the world. Yes. I did, I did, I had a couple of women like that that were married, you know. So I'm not gonna come here and say like, act like, you know, I'm exempt. No, we all, take love, take love women, do you know that? Yeah. We love women. But when you come in the truth, you have to discipline yourself. So it comes with, you know, protocol, the way you move. And that's what we're learning today. So what happened when David inquired? Carry on. And David sent messengers and took her. And she came in unto him. And he laid with her. So this part of like he knew that. Israel is that you're the Hittites. No, he's not. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was an Israelite, but when they say Hittite, you know, they were living in that, in that area. That's what happened in the Bible. You see a lot of men calling themselves or someone like them, but he, let's say, for example, Ruth. Ruth wasn't a Moabite. Ruth just lived in the land. Of, uh, actually, that land was for us. But you know, that's a long no, story. No, I, mean, I mean, like, was that is that the guy that he sent to war? Yes, yes, yes. That was his wife, but he knew it. But he was sometimes some women, yeah. They're so beautiful. They have something. A charm that's so strong. Like you know, what, fuck it, I'm gonna go Ghana's. But the most I have mercy on. Come to that place sometimes. Like, that's what happened. Yeah? Carry on. No, carry on. And lay with her. Right. She was purified from her uncleanness. Right. And she returned unto her house. So that means that when you have sex for the day of your 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 clean, the one you come back for, you come clean. So he had sex with the wife. Carry on. And the woman conceived and sent and told David and right. said, "I am with child." Right. So he got her pregnant. Oh, it's not Solomon, is it? No, that's not Solomon. Huh? You don't find that. What is Solomon? David said to Joe and Faith. That baby died, man. I like this way. That baby died. Yeah, he died. He was born, but he died, I think, after seven days or something like that. He lived for a bit and then started to pray. You know, uh, King started, King David started to pray, but he, he died. That's, that's not Solomon. You know, but after, after, Euro, after Euro died, he could take, he could take the woman. 
That's the, that's why he wanted. That's why he sent Europe for to die, so he can take the women. Right. But then that become legal. That's wicked. But well, that's what Jay does, man. He used the, he, he used the, 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 the he wanted to use the law strategically. He went too far, man. You ain't gonna get someone to kick you because you love his wife. He wanna take that. Do you know what I mean? They want and to pass the child off as a man on first. That's what happened. Huh? Pass yeah, the yeah, child off as man. So what he, what he wanted to do? He wanted to. He said, "Yo, you gonna come, man? Come sex with your wife. What are you doing?" But he was like, "No, no, no." He was so he was so disciplined. But like, "No, no, I'm not having this." You know, I can't, I'm staying in my, in my position, I'm not coming, I'm not having sex, I'm not done with that yet. What he wanted to do, he wanted to set him up, so he can now, you know, have sex with her, and he said, yo, that's a baby, man. So now, when he had no chance to kill. You see, that's like, these, these are demons, you know. So, just to understand, if you read the Bible, it tells you, yeah, that there is meeting that I've, I've done. All right? To see, for example, they, they, they can be telling you know, this guy, okay, we're going to use him as an agent. And, it's, and then the most I would say, who's going to go and pursue that guy so he can be an agent and come and post like he's a, he, he want to be in the truth, but he's an agent. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We have to be very careful, man. King, this is King David, you know. But it happened to me. So we have to learn from, we have to draw from these things and learn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying that all of us, all of, all of us go through that, my brother. You know, no one is a sin for that. The only time we're gonna stop having spiritual warfare is in the kingdom. Okay, carry on. When David sent Joab, saying, "Send me Uriah the Hittite," right. and Joab sent Uriah the Hittite to David. Mm -hmm. And when Uriah was stuck, he to him. David demanded of him how Joab did right. and how the people did and how the war prospered. And David said to Rai, go down to thy house right. and wash thy feet. Mm -hmm. And Rai departed out of the king's house. Right. And there followed him a mass of meat from the king. Right. But David slept, but Uriah slept at the door of the king's right. house with all the servants mm -hmm. of his lord mm -hmm. and went not down to the house. So he didn't have sex with his, with his wife, man. All of that was the doing of the Most High. He sent them demons to do all of that. Okay? He sent an angel to persuade Uriah not to have sex with his wife. And he sent a demon to persuade David to have sex with Uriah's wife. So you have to be careful when you work in this truth. You have to be careful how you walk because you got demons every step of the way, man. Okay? Carry on. And when they had told David, said, Uriah went not down unto his house. Right. David said to Uriah, Come thou not from thy journey. Right. By then, did thou not go down unto thy house. Right. And Uriah said to David, The ark of Israel and Judah abided in the tent, and my lord Joah right. and the servants of my lord right. are encamped in the open field. Shall I then go into my house right. to eat? So you're right, he was a warrior, man. He was very disciplined. That's what we should be. We should be disciplined. But in this thing now, we're so carnal. Like, remember that time we were very spiritual. Now we're spiritual, but we, we take, we're overtaken by our carnality, which makes us hard. It makes it hard for us to really, you know, operate at a level, you know, like the most alcoholic and colors. To eat and to drink and to lie right. with my wife as thou livest. And, as those and he trusted David, man. He trusted David, man. That's a lot of respect. A lot of respect. It's like in the army, you respect your... your, 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 your yeah, exactly. You respect the captain, man. That's exactly what he did, carry on. I will not do this thing. Right. David said to Uriah, tarry here today right. also. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow I will let thee depart, so Uriah arrived in Jerusalem that day mm -hmm. and the morning. Mm -hmm. And when David had called him, he did eat and drink before him. Right. And he made him drunk. And at evening he went out to lie on his bed right. with the servants of his Lord. Right. But went not down to his house. Right. And it came to pass in the morning 
that David wrote a letter to Joab right. and sent it by the hand of Uriah. Right. And he wrote him the letter saying, set to Uriah in the forefront of the battle. That? That's how he set him up, man. So uh, demon can jump on you anytime and you're going to do something, man. Something that's out of your character, something that you've never done before. Demon will jump on you. That's why we got to be humble and know, like, work out our salvation with fear and trembling, man. You should we can't play with this truth. You can't play with it. This is too serious to play with it. If you're struggling with something, be sincere. Cry on to cry on from the you know to the most high so you can you can bring deliverance. But don't be an echo to don't play with it. But the most high nobody can do it. Oh, this is one, this is someone he, he loves, man. This is someone he really they have a love for David, man. They have a love David a lot, but look what he did to David. He said demon on him. In, in this way, that's like an example for us of today. That's what I'm saying. saying. But if they did that kind of today, but that exactly. Happen. That's why you gotta be humble in this truth, man. <laughs> you gotta be spiritual. Well, you have to imagine the amount of women that's lost in the world. Come on, man. <laughs> you, can, you know what I mean? That's sure. why sometimes the most I don't give it because, yes, imagine. That's why it is true. Don't put women first, man, because there will be women for you, but you know, there will be a time where you, 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 you will go without women. Yeah. yeah, I went without women for, for a long time. With that woman, man. Damn, I thought I was a evil. I thought I thought I'll never have sick me. I'm telling you, the most I will castrate the hell out of you, man, for a while before you get it. Did that happen to me as well? Yeah, of course. Listen, that's who you think you are. You think you're a jealous? The most I love the jealous. And also it will be good for you, it will benefit you. To learn you will understand that women, because women are so strong that if you're not careful, they will take over you. There's brothers that left the truth because of women. Yeah. Women came in the life and they left the truth. Huh? She was so good. And I mean good. But it's not just sex, you know. So women to come and, and operate your life too. You know? You gotta be careful. Carry on. And retire from him. That he may be smitten and die. Right. That he may be smitten and die. Man. So that's die about it. Now let's go to uh, uh let's go to Second Samuel again. Eleven. No, I will read that. Let's go to Zechariah. Like a like a writer right free one to one. Hello, madam. How you doing? You alright? Alright. Take care. Yeah. Let's go to Zechariah free. And one and three, and understand that the Mosai can put you in a filthy garment as well. One and three. Yes. What up? One and three. Zechariah. No, no, Zechariah three. One to three. So Zechariah. Chapter three, verse one. Mm -hmm. And he showeth me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of Yahweh. Right. And and Satan standing at his right hand okay. to resist him. Satan standing at his right hand to resist him, man. So it ain't about jo I don't think it's about Joshua the conqueror though. Right, right. It's about Joshua that was a priest. Right. I need to find out about that. Three. 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 Like a Chapter three. three. One to three. Verse two. And Yahweh said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Right, so sometimes the most I you know, we have mercy on you when you go through this battle. You know, and he will, he, he will rebuke Satan for you, man. You will go through it for a while, but after a while, he will take it away from you, man. Carry on. Even Yahweh that have chosen Jerusalem right. rebuke thee. So is not this a brand plot part of the fire? Right, so it goes to show that when he says it's not this a brand, a brand meaning like a stick, you know, plucked out of fire, so meaning like. That goes to show that sometimes the demonic oppression is actually, okay, to make you better, to make you strong in his faith. But after you battle demon oppression, you become strong mentally, become strong spiritually. And you can resist certain situations, because situation come in the form of, of demonic oppression. And when you go through that act, when you come out of it, you become more strong because we will need to have a certain strength for what's coming 
Because if we're not strong to a certain level, we might, you know, denounce our faith, man. We might deny Yahweh. We might deny the fact we're Israelite, man. But Isa is coming, man. You got, you got, you got guillotine. You got all of those, um, those places where they can touch them, you know, a, a place where they go, they, they know how to touch them. Isa is the avenger of the avenger of death, man. Isa knows how to kill a man, man. Slowly but surely. So we, all this demonic oppression will make us strong in the face of adversity when he came like a madman, man. That's Mad one of blessings and curses, isn't it? You huh? the sword, isn't it? Say that again? I'm saying that's one of his... One of his one yeah, 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 his he ruled by the... Yes, he, he ruled by the... He ruled by the sword, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, carry on. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for the class in liberty upon you, in wrath and hate. Right, okay. So that bringing all of those situations to me, and when he say when he say cast of iniquity, that what 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 is, what is the iniquity that they cast on me? Like the enemy, the evil. What is the cast? What what is the iniquity? What is the what what is one of the iniquity that the them the demons then cast on David? What is which one? I don't know what I've just read about. So he was talking about that. So can you imagine someone that knows the Lord that like to have sex with someone as wife? To the point where he would he killed the guy, he got I mean he didn't kill him, but he got him killed by setting him up, setting him up. But I mean they're casting that they can cast iniquity on you, man. I mean, have you seen people that just woke up and they went on the rampage to kill people? They wake up, Job 33, 15 and 16 explained that. They wake up, when they were sleeping, the demon got on them, they woke up with violence, man. And then decided to go on the ramp and kill people. So that's, that's what he's talking about. So when you pray, you have to pray as the most high to not let a demon who can cast iniquity on you. Are you in the truth? I think I saw him in Brixton one day. Yeah, that's my problem. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing where. When I found myself not really being diligent in the word as often, things that would have tempted me before would start tempting me again. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like from young, like I was having a conversation with the other day. Like I've been come coming, close, come close, and so yeah, from, from, from the young. Like me, I've been groomed from the young and that women. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and women to bring from my like 13. Like that, in lessons. But if I'm not reading really the truth like that, say for instance, it could even be a day where I'm not reading the scripture, and something will tempt me again. You know what I'm saying? So it's a thing where I know I, I, I'm in the truth. I'm aware of the statue and command. It's just being consistent every day. You know what I'm saying? The scripture for every day. I hear that. I hear that. Well, you know, obviously in this truth, you gotta be disciplined. Oh, it's, it's a stoic lifestyle. You know, it's a stoic lifestyle. And then uh, we have to take these things seriously, you know, because you gotta um, meditate upon the kingdom and also meditate upon the wrath of the Most High. So the Most High is capable of bringing wrath of any wrath of any wrath of anyone. So it's a case of like trying to change the lifestyle, you know, and uh, read the Bible, be disciplined. Yeah. So what were we reading again? Yeah, that one. Sounds good. Read it from the top. Read from the top. Read the top. Because of the voice of the enemy, right. because of the oppression of the wicked, uh -huh. for they cast liberty upon me, right. and they grab the enemy. Right. They grab the enemy, man. So these demons, they make you hard for you, like you can go to work, and those, they will recognize you, and they will bring demons to you. And you will feel heavy, or you have dizziness, or you will feel unbalanced, and it's like tired, and they have that something, there's something about a demon that I experienced lately, man. It's real. Sometimes they come, they go, and it's, you wonder, it's like, it's like you're sick, like, what's wrong with me? Okay? Because they, they, they're oppressing you with those demons, man. Them demons oppressing you, man. They can bring a woman, you have sex with her, and then you don't feel yourself, because that, that, that woman, she's a hub of demons. She's a hub of demons. Now get twisted, you know, you're gonna see women, they're gonna throw you all French stuff. Fringes, everything. But they're just a pill. Yeah, 
there because all, all sorts of spirits are coming. When the most uh, when Yahweh shall call the people and tell them, listen, the, 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 the disciple, go and preach it out, go and take both good and bad. So it's bad and good in this truth. It's not just, just because, don't assume that because someone is the truth or he can preach, you know, he's confident or he can he can do his thing, he's a warrior. He, don't, don't assume that he, he could be a deceiving spirit, man. So that's why the most I should, when you pray, you have to pray the most like you need to discern in spirit. The discerning of spirit where you're able to look at someone and know they're bullshitting or not. The most I can give you that. And sometimes you know them. But you don't say nothing because it's the most a problem. Because then you just get the doors who are trapped in on the ways. Nothing you can do about it. But you know about it, you know? Alright? So now let's go to um, let's read you know, the priest of Allah. Bring it out and break it down. This is Psalm 51 and 7. Bring it out. Purge me with high sun, and I shall be clean. The yeah, Esau, Esau. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Right. Make me to hear joy and gladness. Read that, read that, read that from the top. Purge me with piss up. Right. And I shall be clean. Uh -huh. Wash me and I shall be whiter than, than snow. Uh -huh. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Right. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Right. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Pass me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Right. So we got a, that was a prayer of David. Like, you gotta recite those prayers every day. Yeah, we got man. You gotta recite them, those prayers every day to kind of you know block out them demons and cast out the demons too. Because you have to cast out demons, man. Yeah, right. You have because to cast out demons, man. If you don't have that Holy Spirit. And you're a major hub for them demons to enter in your vessel. Right. And they're going to use your vessel as a tool to be a contrarian to this truth. And that's it. That's it. That's a, that's a very beautiful point because, you know, like you say, they're going to use you as a vessel to do some madness in this truth. And we got camps that are already manifesting that. Okay? The camps that say a lot of things. Okay? The late one, like, uh, the latest one is about saying that, um, um, saying that um, uh, the Don't case of adultery with uh, Will Smith, you know when Will Smith slapped uh, Chris Rock. So one of the guys of ICP can say that if he was, if, if he gave if he if he was giving an advice to, to Will Smith, he would tell you know Will Smith. I mean to pick Chris Rock, he would tell Chris Rock to to pop <laughs> Jada Pink. That's adultery, man. So how can you be the law and condone and promote adultery? That's because a spirit has jumped on you while you were sleeping to be like that. So when you pray, you have to pray, you know, prayer of deliverance, man. You have to cast out demons, man. We have to cast out demons in our prayers. We have to burn incense. Okay, because demons don't like incense. We have to fast. What kind of incense? Uh, frankincense. Uh, frank, 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 frankincense. 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 Uh, the, the biblical priests, they used to use like, frankincense. Yeah. You can get that in Westbrook. You can get that in Westbrook. By the um, little You can get that in Brixton. Do you live in Brixton? Yeah. I said, okay, Brixton, there's a shop there, yeah? Obviously, they use a lot of those of yeah, things and yeah, that. I see them, I don't really trust them. No, 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 you can get a freaking system, man. Yeah. So look, a knife is used to cook and to kill as well. So you, use, you, you use it for what? No, no, no. The, the, <laughs> the ancient man, you use it for what? To purify your yard. No, no, I'm just saying. Yeah? They know what they're doing. When they use it, they don't act. You see, it's the purpose, it's the thought that make it that bring the manifestation. If you burn incense, frankincense, and you, you, you do some agitation, you know what's going to bring you. But if you burn, if you burn frankincense, you say, yeah, how about you now? It was us that they took that to remember. Everything that they're doing is us. They use it for the idol worship, but we use it for the original purpose. So you shouldn't even worry about that. And you know it is because my thing is, 
I don't know how to actually identify one of them insects, isn't it? So they can give me this insect and say, yeah, man, this is the Frankenstein, whatever. Or it could be something else. Yeah, but as long as you, if you believe it's why it is, it's your, it is. No, it has nothing to do with my belief. No, it's why well, if you think it's Frankenstein, it's not. You might know what it is in real life, but mm. if it says Frankenstein, you got it. God thinking, yeah, you know, it says Frankenstein's and murder, that's what it says, so that is what. No, 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 what it is, you look, make no. some research about it. I understand what it's saying, that's your scream. Go and research about the frankincense, and go over there and scream. I know, me, I know the smell, the frankincense smell, I know the smell. Because uh, from when I was young, my dad, he used to worship the other side. So they used to, but he told me, you know, frankincense is for the good spirit. And the others, there's, there's different insects out there that will invite demons. Because you gotta understand, frankincense is the one that the, the demon don't like to, to, to smell. Right? We, now we may not have the pure, pure one, but we still got it. Because the most have made a way for us to still be honored in and still be being strong in Babylon. Now there's other, other insects that you use Okay, that will bring our demon. So I said this: let bring only only use frankincense by a myrrh because that's where the Levitical priests were using. No, fucking no, yeah. Keep the right. 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 me, and I put you in the back of a bed, tie you up in epic forest, huh? naked. Huh? Yeah, I was shy. Uh, no, but his point is like, how do you know that? How do you know that that's a real uh, instance of myrrh? I get what you say, but what I say, that's what I say by faith. Got it? And I said the most high. You know, he allowed it to do certain things, but he didn't allow to do all things. All right, that's the facts. So go and get your frankincense and learn, and learn to burn it, or ask me to burn one. I can I'll burn it when you start preaching in that, in that session. Yeah, well, precept, this yeah. is Exodus 30 and 34. And the Lord said unto Moses, take unto these sweet spices, steak and oyster and galbanum, these sweet, these sweet spices with pure frankincense of each shall there be like weight. Right. Where's that? Read it, read it, read it Exodus 30 and 34. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take unto these sweet spices, steak and poitra and galbanum, these sweet spices with pure frankincense of each shall there be, of each shall there be a light weight. Right. So frankincense has always been used, you know, to because the most high, when he smelling, you know, he likes smelling frankincense. And also, you know, the demons don't like it. You see what I'm saying? But that's like, you chase them away from your yard, all right? Now, in this demonic oppression, there's ways to deal with it. And one way is through music as well. If someone go to 1 Samuel 16 and 23, that's why drill music and all of that is it, sent out in bad energy. <laughs> Monsieur, comment allez vous allez bien? Content de te voir. Yes. Tu es off aujourd'hui? Tu sais que je fais ça depuis des années, non? Right. That's why the drill, drill music sent out bad energy. That's why young, 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 when they, when they start listening to that, what they want to do? They want to do a do and drill. <laughs> okay? So music is very important. But yes, we can use those elements as well, okay, to soothe the oppression. Because sometimes it's so mental that you know, you know yourself. You know, so you can use certain music. You got to understand. Like, what you tell me, okay, if someone play violin, right? If a nigga might play violin, he's demonic, so what's going to do? No. It's the case of the knife. When he, at the end of this, he didn't create a violin. You see what I'm saying? So that vibration is still something. It still bring, you know, like ambient music. You know, ambient music. Ambient music. Like the, the music with all music, violin, music with piano, music with guitar. It sent out good vibration that soothes your spirit, man. So it's good to stay when you're at home, for example, you can listen to those stuff, like instrumental. Like for example, uh, 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 classical music was called Baroque music. And I tell them Baroque comes from Barak, which is blessed. Okay? 
So I, that's why you gotta, all those music was created by us, man. In the, in the, in the dark ages, you know what I'm saying? So you can listen to classical music, like jazz, piano, all of those things. Bring the, the trumpet. Come on, man, trumpet, man. We blow trumpet. How people blow trumpet, man? Levi's. The Levi blew trumpet, man. Hello? Okay? So we have to tap into that. Who has the first Samuel 16 and 23? We got to bring it out loud. Yeah, 16 and 23. First Samuel 16 and 23. This is first Samuel, verse 16. No, This is first Samuel, chapter 16, verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from Yahweh was upon Saul that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. Read that from the top slide. First Samuel chapter 16, chapter 16, verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from Yahweh was upon Saul right. that David took an harp right. and played with his hand. Right. So Saul was rough. So he took a harp, man. Yeah. You know? Now harp is violin, harp is that, harp that thing. thing. That's why even in West Africa, the Madingo people, they got that, um, I forgot the name of that thing, Koha. Because yeah. it's the Koha, they call it harp. But it's, you know, we call it Koha in West Africa. When they, when they listen, go to, um, to, 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 go to, uh, let me see, let, let's, let's do it live. Let me see something, yeah? Let me see something, you want to do it live, man. I want to show you something. It's not too slow. It's not too slow. Man. It's too slow, man. But the Torah is the, it's like a harp. But it sounds so, it's so spiritual and divine. You listen to it. It's so soothing, man. Sound is powerful. I remember when I was working night and I couldn't even sleep. I would put certain music and I go to sleep immediately. Now how good you wake up powerful, like you know? Right. So it's refreshed, that's what's happening, man. My music is here and the Bible play at night, it's part of the Bible play at all. Right. You don't just sleep for that, otherwise. Yeah. Up, up, walking around, yeah, 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 watching yeah, yeah. TV. I get it, man. That's what it is, man. So music is very, it's a very powerful tool, man. So but you need to know what type of music you listen to. The thing that I listen to some pop, you know, nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying. Yes, you can't be listening to it all the time. Sometimes I listen to that type of music. But that's a vibe right there. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's that's West Africa. That's us. Forget about what they say on it. But the music, listen to it, it's soothing. It gives you one of even when that, is, that music, when you, you cannot be violent with that music. We can only talk about love. We can obviously talk about love, but it's kind of love, but still it's about loving someone. Is love is love hurting someone? Do you know what I'm saying? That's so that's music that's is that's music. music. Yeah. For classical music is all a tip. I'll just listen to some reggae. Oh man, you talking about reggae? Talking about that vibration? See, reggae is a vibration. You gotta understand like the, the Benjamin people, that like, me I listen to Capleton. Cap Capleton is my guy. Man. Yes, but Capiton, he, he, he really, when he says, you understand the prophecy on Benjamin, the, the raving, the raving wolves, man. But they, they got to talk about Babylon for a long time, man. Okay? So that energy, it can only uplift, that's why Esau did everything to bring about people like um, Popcorn, people like, um, what's the name of the, Vibe Kato. All of these guys, why are they bringing? Them? That, that's, that's why they got rid of Shaba and all and yeah. butcher band to the right. jail. Because because that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was a message. Ah, you know why they got rid of the Shaba though? Because, because he, he said he didn't, he didn't agree with homosexuality. Yeah, yeah. That's, why that's, they that's, that's what that. ended it. You know what I'm saying? Even that guy, uh, would you bunch and they put him in jail? They, they set him up because he was against boom bye bye, you know my dear boy. That's that's against the, 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 the system in place. So obviously they're gonna do you. So then now they're replacing it with a new order, which is bringing all, you know, low level vibration, man. 
Man, it's all the band and all the band. It's all the band. It's the reggae as well. Huh? The reggae is not even as authentic as it was before. No, I'm, come on. I'm, 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 I'm from West Africa, the boy. I love that. I love my band, my, my, uh, my reggae music. You know what I mean? I love my reggae music. So, yeah, so that's it, man. We gotta be able to withstand the oppression that's coming, the money oppression that's coming our way, man. Okay? We have to find ways to, we have to pray, we have to fast, okay, we have to rehearse the righteous act, man. Alright? But just know that when you need truth, you're gonna go against the, you're gonna go against the enemy, you're gonna battle demonic oppression, man. Alright? Huh? Right. If you, if you need kingdom, you're gonna go through that, man. You know, if you need kingdom, you're gonna go through that, man. Yeah, read that. What, what I say? Yeah, yeah, read that, read that. Yeah, we gonna close that. Do you have a precept? Amos 5. Oh, Amos yeah. yeah? 5 and 21. Right. I hate, I despise your feast days. Right, so I, your feast day, carry on, carry on. I will not smell it in your solemn assembly. Right, I will not smell it in your solemn assembly, man. And that's talking about what? Well, obviously, we're talking about when Jake was going against the order, the Levitical, you know, order, doing his own thing and being the devil. But then we can just, we can just, uh, in context, and bring it to the devil. Like Christmas and Easter and all right. that thing. Man. And the music as well. He's saying, let's celebrate Easter. Huh? I know you're Jamaican, that fried fish, we ain't celebrating. I cooked lamb yesterday just to make sure uh, nobody uh, think that yeah, I ain't gonna do it too. So you ye offer me burnt offering and your meat offering. I will not accept them. Right. Neither will I regard the right. peace offering of right. your fat peace Right, so we have to come back to the real, man. You know, we have to come back to the real so we can avoid demonic oppression, man. And even when the demonic oppression comes, we gotta find ways to fight it, man. You know, and when you work to and that's why a lot of Jake don't want to work in those institutions because they're full of demons, man. Demonic, I know brother that don't even want to work. And I understand it. But there's demon over there, you know. Bro. If you're in this trip, you go over there, just know that they, I, look, I couldn't believe it. I, I'm going through that, man. This brother that you got, that guy that I really, he's from Afro Africa, that guy is that I really as well, working in the same place, you know. And it just is demonic, bro. And it just, oh my God. Uh, yeah, that was the system. Because remember, remember, they put in place, uh, 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 you know, a system to kill people, man. But they, they, don't, they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't promote the herbs, do they? Or are they? So yeah, so hopefully the, the family of Israel was edified and you'll be on to the next one. Then we will turn to the east and we'll give our praises. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Rahab, 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 Rahab,